Uh, single fathers, I'm one. Uh, I got an 18 year old son. He just uh, he just finally moved out the house. He finally, yeah, that's yeah. Well, well, he didn't he didn't move out the house. He he ran away. So from yeah, he he got mad. He didn't want to obey my rules and and ran away. I ain't talked to him in two months. So my son, yeah, it's cool. You don't have to. Oh, my son called me the other day. He like, ain't dad, I I ran away. You didn't call me. You didn't say nothing. You didn't come looking for me or nothing. I was like, well, son, at, at 18, that's really not considered running away. That's, that's considered freeing up space. That's what we call that. I'm not I'm about to chase you. <laughs> you know, black parents don't care. Oh, you leave? Okay, cool. That's it's been two years. I ain't heard from them. I don't know. I, got, I tell you all my dishes was washed now. I can tell you that. I, I, my living room clean. Now, the only thing about my son leaving, the only positive thing, the only good thing about that is uh, uh, me and my mom got more space now. Uh, so, <laughs> it's a more peaceful relationship in the house. So that's a blessing. <laughs> I got so tired of sharing a room with this boy, it was... Me and this boy was in the same room in bunk beds. He at the top, I'm at the bottom. So uncomfortable. <laughs> I can be the father I really wanted to be, you know what I'm saying? This is how I knew it was time to get out the house before he left. I, I was so happy he left because you ever had your child tell your mama on you? You ever, like my son had snitched on me before. I, I'm going to tell you what happened in my mama house. I couldn't walk in the house with my shoes on. I had to take my shoes off. So what happened is I had put my shoes on. I realized I forgot my house keys upstairs. I was like, hey, Chris, I'll be right back, man. I'm about to run upstairs and grab the keys. He was like, ooh. I said, ooh what? He like, Dad, you still got your shoes on in the house. I was like, no, I know. I'm just going to run upstairs and grab the keys. I'll be right back. He's like, but Granny don't like nobody in the house with their shoes on. I was like, no, I understand, but I'm just going to run upstairs and grab the keys. I'll be right back. He's like, but ain't that kind of like going behind her back, lying? I said, well, kind of, but if I just, wait a minute, why am I arguing back and forth with my child? I got so mad. I said, you know what? You're disrespectful. Go to our room. You ain't going to disrespect me in my mama house. My mama pay the bills in here, not yours, okay? Your mama the reason we in this predicament, okay? I'm a grown man, and it's my mama stuff, okay? <laughs> like, round of applause. How many women would date a man that live at home with his mama? Round of applause. Okay. <laughs> I only got one person I could date in here tonight, huh? Just, <laughs> just one, Okay. And that's going to be the one they end up married to. That's going to be the one you're going to find your husband. You know why? Because you ain't putting a lot of pressure on men. <laughs> See, the rest of y'all are putting all this pressure on men. Y'all want a man to have all this extravagant stuff, like a, like a, a job and a, and, a, and a car. She don't care about none of that. Because let me tell you something, ladies. Having a man is better than no man, Okay. But first of all, wait, hold on. First of all, hold on. It's in the Bible, okay? It's in the Bible. See, I didn't even come here for this tonight, but now I feel something in my spirit <laughs> telling me to speak to each and every one of you women in here tonight. It's in the Bible. Okay, listen, let me, let me explain something to you ladies. You know God is a specific type of God, right? God wants you to be specific and what you're asking them for. Like, you can be without a car, and you can pray and say, God, send me a car, send me a car. And God will hear that prayer, and he'll send you a car. But guess what? That car might not have no engine. You know why? Because you didn't pray for a running car. It's the same thing when you're praying and asking God for a man. You got to be specific in the man that you're asking him for. You got to say, listen, God, send me a man that's about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Send me a man that has good credit. Send me a man that looks like Chris. Send me a man that'll love all seven of my kids like he loves you, Lord. 
And after you finish praying, asking God for that man, ladies, what do you say at the end of your prayer? Amen. There it is. A man is better than no man. It's been in the Bible for centuries. 